former staff member of Scott Walker when he was Milwaukee County Executive, was in court today for a preliminary hearing. Kelly Reinfleisch is accused of doing campaign work on county time. Nick Montez was at the hearing, and he's live in our newsroom. Nick? Yeah, Kelly Reinfleisch served as Deputy Chief of Staff under then-County Executive Scott Walker. Prosecutors say she used her taxpayer-funded position to campaign for her boss. Appearing well dressed and calm, former Scott Walker aide Kelly Reinflesch appeared before the court commissioner with her attorney at her side. Reinflesch waived her right to a preliminary hearing. Now the case against her moves forward. I have a form which is signed by you and Mr. Gimble, your attorney, which tells me that witnesses on this case do not have to testify about what supposedly occurred. Reinflesch once served as deputy chief of staff to then county executive Scott Walker. Prosecutors say she did campaign work on the county's dime. Prosecutors say Reinflesch sent more than 1,000 fundraising emails at work. She's one of five former Walker aides connected to the John Doe investigation. The governor maintains he's innocent and didn't know what was taking place just a few doors down from his office. This has been fascinating to watch. UWM government professor Mordecai Lee argues that the governor is doing a good job of distancing himself from his former aides. He never looks worried or scared or there aren't any pictures of him ducking into doors to avoid the media. The big question, what impact will the case have on the recall? At this point in time, it, it's impossible to tell if he's going to emerge from it unscathed or if he's going to be affected by it in any sort of political sense. And if convicted, Kelly Reinflesch faces up to 14 years in prison and $40,000 in fines. On your side in the newsroom, Nick Montes for today's TMJ4. Nick.